good afternoon. Today I'm in Belarus, the capital Minsk. And you're probably thinking, what on earth am I doing here? Well, I was here probably last time around about 10 years ago, so obviously the city's changed a lot. So I want to see what the city has changed and where it's keeping the same old like Soviet things like behind me, these two Soviet buildings. And these kind of Soviet buildings, you get them in kind of any Soviet country where you've got them two side by side and you've got like a road that goes straight down the middle which usually goes to the city centre and Minsk is no exception. But they do have a modern train station. Look at that. Reminds me of Samara. But that is not what I want to show you. What I want to show you is this one unique building which is actually, funny enough, the library. And what is more astonishing is who funded this library. That is where we're heading now. So join me and let's head to this unique building, which is the National Library of Minsk. So this uh, library is at the metro station called Vostok, which means east. So we're heading now on the metro, which is usually the fastest form of transport to get around the city and here it is red m marks the spot and at the moment we're at station plosha Lenin. i don't know how much the tickets are going to be here but i'm hoping not that much hopefully less than a quid we'll see Можно два, пожалуйста. Спасибо вам. just exited Vostok Metro as you can see the red M again just there and the uh, ticket was in fact 30 pence one way so I've got two tokens and it looks like this a little pinky token with a Metro sign on it obviously so now we're going to the library and in fact it's only I'd say about 300 meters away and this is it here look at this That cube, it looks like uh, something out of a galaxy. <laughs> but what is unique about this library is, I know it's got 23 floors and it's even got a uh, observation deck, which I'm gonna try and go to today if it's open. But the most unique thing is that this was funded by somebody called Saddam Hussein. And Saddam, he put one million dollars into uh, this library, or half a million. I forget which one, but it's one of those. So this library was opened in 2006, and I was here for the first time in Belarus in 2008 and even became a member just to go inside with my ex-girlfriend to see what it was like inside. He had to sign up. But today, I think you can just go in, into the uh, separate entrance for an observation zone, and that's what I'm looking for now.
быстрос. А можно один билет, пожалуйста? Ага, на 20. Ага. Спасибо вам. Все добро. So I've just taken up a lift, which took me to the 23rd floor, and now we're going up some steps to the uh, observational deck. It looks pretty impressive. Here's the first glance. Wow. Great views. Let's have a look further up what there is. There is um, a road called Independent Avenue. And apparently, it's the longest adjacent in the world, which consists of 15 kilometers. And you can see the old Soviet buildings with the mosaics. I'm not sure if you could see that just then. I'll try and show it once again. Let's go over here. The old building over there as well. And over there, earlier, there's a nice mosaic with one of the Soviet astronauts in there. Beautiful views, but not exactly what I was expecting. Right, let's go to the center. So I'm on my way to the center, I've just come across Moscow Station. It just reminds me of my time in Moscow. Look at this. We've got the Kremlin here. I think that is Lenin's tomb. And on the other side, you've got one of the uh, Stalin buildings. Look at this. Just underneath Moskuskaya. So I'm now walking towards the center. I've just come across Victory Square. And in the island there, you can see the monument of victory. Beside it, Soviet buildings with words on top, reminding you of what it was like to the Soviet times. And all these nice old buildings surrounding that square. So there's a lot of squares within Minsk, and I do believe this is the main square. Look around here. We've got here the Palace of Culture. Look how far back it goes. Over there, more Soviet buildings with businesses, I would presume. Belarus Telecom. And over here, another palace, but of Republic. Wow. If you do ever plan on coming to Belarus, due to, due to the current situation, I would definitely recommend going to Lithuania Vilnius and taking a bus and getting yourself a visa beforehand. The visa is only costing 35 euros for EU citizens and for UK citizens it costs 60 euros. I'm not sure why but that is the case. Um, for me though I'll definitely come back and it will be by the bus. I'm not going to fly through Turkey or through, through uh, Georgia from the UK because the cheapest plane ticket is £2,000 return. And that is just a rip-off for me. That's just a joke. So it's better just to get the visa. Right, I'm going to now show you the area where the main bars are for good night in Minsk, if you come to Minsk. The very first time I came to Belarus, when I needed a visa, um, it was a bit more difficult. I needed to get um, a tourist invitation from the hotel, and you can see it behind me. I'll show you which hotel it was. It's that big white building just straight there. Hotel Belarus. And nearby, you can see the uh, Sports Palace, which is that curvy building there. And as promised, 
if you ever come to Belarus, you've got to check out the nightlife, it's brilliant. And the easiest way to find out where the best bars are, use this icon, this church. Seriously, here it is. It's one of the uh, famous landmarks within Minsk. Beautiful. And not far away from it is the street with all the bars. But first place I recommend, I'm not working there, but I definitely would sell it if I was working there, is a place called Uratushi. And there they have the best Belarusian food, Draniki, there's pork, the beer is amazing. And the whole atmosphere is just spot on. Live music on Friday, Saturday, I'm not sure about other days, but Friday and Saturday, it's always packed, always fun. And that is where I'm heading on Friday. But let me just show you, here it is. Pivnoi U Ratushi. Looks closed, but the entrance is just at the side of you on your right. There it is. And then further down that street, if you go round it, on the left, you follow it round, there's loads of good bars. But this is the place where you start the night off. Well, it's time for me to get the celebration started. It's today, St. Patrick's Day. Believe it or not, they have an Irish pub in Minsk, which I'm planning to go to. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like below. And if you ever do come to the uh, city of war heroes, Minsk, you'll be greeted to things like this behind me.